Basically the goal is to bring back a threatened species, West Slope cutthroat trout, which is threatened across Alberta, and we're using this project to help restore that species. Adding nine kilometers of stream habitat equates to about a 30% increase in stream habitat found in the park that's occupied by pure West Slope cutthroat trout. There's a lot of components that go into this restoration project, uh, not just the fish. We've looked at uh, the food sources, the invertebrates in the stream, looking at our riparian health, the stream banks. Um, and a lot of it was really washed out during the 2013 flood. Um, and so we've done a lot of uh, active work to bring it back. So we've done lots of native plantings. You can see all through here, a lot of the invertebrates, the bugs that the fish like to eat, live um, part of their life cycle on the plants and will fall into the water. And then their juvenile cycle is uh, in the stream and the fish eat them both as the juvenile and as the adults when they fall in. So here, the splashy water that we're looking at, that's the riffle. That's where you're gonna find the bugs and the oxygen for the fish. Upstream here, where you see it's nice and calm, you see some boulders, you'll see some large woody debris, and this provides cover for fish, provides protection from predators, and an overwintering habitat for them. First, we have to figure out which populations to get our source populations. So we figured out Marvel Lake and Upper Stony Creek are great spots to take our fish from. And then from there, we have to test diseases. We have to make sure they were genetically suitable, that they were locally adapted to the Bow River. So we went out electrofish to catch lots of fish while they were uh, preparing to spawn to release their eggs. And then we collected eggs as well as milt. Um, we fertilized it on site um, and then flew it out of the backcountry to an incubation facility um, where the eggs were incubated um, until they were resilient enough to be moved into Cascade Creek. At that point, we moved them into in-stream incubator units where they hatched out and swam into the stream to start their, their life here in Cascade Creek. We've made huge gains here. Um, some of this habitat downstream of us used to just be dry. There wasn't enough water to connect to the Bow River. Now we're at a place where we've got full connectivity from, from the top end all the way down to the Bow River. Fish can move through the system. There's enough habitat for them. Um, so we feel really confident that the, the fish here will develop a self-sustaining population and will be here into the future.